me today. I say little, it's on the sofa. We're going to have a look at it now. Uh, quite exciting. Put it on the sofa because uh, it's a bit of a big box. Um, can you guess what it is yet? Let me just move some of these cushions. Uh, it is a 30 litre travel box. Now it's not it's not a cooler, it's not a cool box, it's an actual fridge. Uh, obviously it's for the truck. 12 to 24 volt, either or. Um, quite a decent box, nice and well packaged, nice and secure. Um, let's have a look at what we've got on here before I open it. So we've got, oh that's, uh, that's German or Spanish, so we'll read the other side. Medium to large size refrigerator for in intensive use. Uh, the blah 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 blah. Compressor, uh, elegant design. Uh, <laughs> that's quite funny, it's put great performances. Uh, Kind of going a bit French there. Uh, it's super, suitable for many applications uh, for intense in car trucks, RVs, and even extreme off road vehicles. So, the technical data on it is it's 30 litre capacity, um, height is 38, width is 35, and the depth of it is 58. Uh, the weight is 16 kilograms empty. It takes 45 watts to run it, uh, and it actually runs at 0.22 kilowatts per hour. Yeah, so per 24 hour, yeah, watt hour. Sorry, yeah, we got wrong. 12 volt or 24. Uh, thermostatic regulation, yes. So we'll knock on and off. Um, it's got a compressor in there. Fitting kit optional and it has an internal light. So I've got some buttons on there as well. So it's actually a proper fridge. Um, well packaged. Um, FedEx have just delivered it now. And I actually saw him get him out of the van with it, he didn't throw it around, so I know it's it's not been thrown around by the delivery company. So well done FedEx there. Um, invoice there. Um, delivery notes there, I think the same on the other side yeah same thing there a bit more light on this side though um, that must be the fitting kit there so you can slide it about it's got a little screen there uh, apparently I've already read about this online it um, it can it'll knock itself off if the battery if your vehicle battery is getting low you can leave it running overnight as well um, I think it's got a few settings it's got uh, eco, uh, eco. It's got boost, and it's, there's something else as well, but I'll go through that later with you. Um, well, yeah, I'm going to be happy with this. I can actually take some homemade food now and keep it Okay, so I've got rid of the box. Up. I've left it on this big cushion thing so it doesn't do anything to my rather old sofa. Okay, so what have we got here? Temperature control set on and off. Um, so which end is the front? Anything else in the box? No. Oh, that's definitely deep enough. That's definitely big enough, that. There's a little light. That's a, uh, a standard lead, 12 volt lead. However, if you take that off, it becomes a hella lead. So I can do both of those anyway. And there's all the uh, information about it. And this is uh, this is from uh, Cuda. I'll give you the address and a link to it. So it's an Indel Model B by the look of it. Little light in there. That's definitely big enough. I wonder what that's for. And that's just for a uh, couple of cans or something. But. Uh, Looking forward to trying this one out. So, what do, you, what do you think, guys? Let me know what you think. Uh, do you think it's big enough? <laughs> I think it definitely is big enough. Um, I'll keep that at the side of, uh, in front of the bunk. However, in winter, what I'll probably do 
because I'll be using the night heater. I'll just, it's not heavy. It's not heavy at all. Um, so I'll probably just sh shimmy it over to the uh, passenger seat and it can sit there for the night. That way it's not fighting the uh, the uh, night heater that'll be on. To the guys over at uh, CUDA, K-U-D-A, if you're wondering how, how it's spelt, it's not difficult, but anyway. Uh, I'll put the address, the, the website address and the link to this product in there. They sent me this to try out, um, which I'm, I'm more than happy to do that. It's uh, something I need and I can compare it to the old one I used to have, which is in the tip now. Uh, I'll show you a picture of that on the screen, how it was. Uh, the difference between that and this is that was a cool box that you plug in and it just has like a little metal plate that hot on one side, cold on the other. Um, not very good, bit power hungry, um, not an actual fridge. So uh, it'd be good to compare on a later video this to that. Um, but yeah, once again, thanks to the guys over at uh, CUDA and look forward to doing a review for, on this one something I've been wanting for a while so the links should be across, across the screen now for this it's down below as well and um, just want to say another thanks to CUDA for sending me this um, £375 worth of uh, travel fridge um, thank you very much guys I'm looking forward to doing a review on it